Welcome back to hey. the Marvel Deck. Hey, we are back here. Yeah, we're back on the Marvel Deck uh, for Marvel Live, presented by TikTok with one of just my favorite people in the whole world, yeah. Nick Lowe. Oh, I the homie right him. here. He's so amazing. <laughs> it's so, hey, hi, everybody. Nick Lowe. Welcome to San Diego, <laughs> the caretaker of all things Spidey. It's true. Yes. Uh, and we're going to talk about a lot of things. Some exciting things have happened. Lots of great news. There's so some much. Eisners out there we might want to talk about. Yeah. But I hear that you have a very important message for a very important person that we have to say first. Yeah. Absolutely. I want to wish the happiest of birthdays to my wonderful wife, Emily. Emily, happy Aww. birthday. I wish you could be here uh, and with the kids could be here, but you're not. And <laughs> I hope you're having a great time and I, I hope they're being nice to you. Baby, but I love you. <laughs> <laughs> He'll bring the best. He'll yeah. bring things home. Maybe. It's true. I've got yeah. stuff. Oh, well. I've got stuff. So nice. there's so many incredible things going on, like the, the Runaways, all of Spidey. Yeah, um, Spidey. Talk to me about the Runaways, man. It's going uh, strong. Yeah. Uh, we had Rainbow Rowell here yep. day one. Yep. I, I, I just love it. It's, it's so everything. great. Yeah. Runaways is one of my favorite books I work on. Nice. Uh, it, Rainbow Rowell writing. Uh, uh, Andres Genole drawing. Chris Anka is still doing covers. He Ooh. used to draw the book. Amazing, amazing, amazing. We're coming up on issue 25, which is going to blow people's minds. Ooh. You've got to read it. It is one of the best books out there. Nominated for an Eisner last night. We didn't win it. We'll talk more about that other stuff last night, but it's a, right. it's a That's pleasure right. just to be nominated. <laughs> no shade. Uh, but you got to pick <laughs> up that book. We're going to get that next year. <laughs> and this TV show is so good, and if you've watched yeah. the TV show, yeah. pick up the book. If you haven't watched the TV show, pick up the book. If you want to start from the beginning with Brian K. Vaughn and Adrian Alfona, eh, pick up the book. Comics are the best. Eh, yeah. Let's do it. Well, that's <laughs> the great thing about The Runaways, right? There's so many entrances into it. We did uh, the Marvel After Show uh, for Marvel's Runaways this year uh, with my co-host Lorraine Singh. Yeah. And it's just, we talked to Brian K. Vaughn and we talked to the cast. And there's so much love and like accessibility, relatability in that book. Uh, but I know there's also a <clears throat> some <clears throat> an Eisner <clears throat> happened last night. Yeah. Uh, no big deal. Just like, you know, yep. the Oscars of comics. Uh, you know, yeah. no big deal. Well, we won a couple from Marvel. We are a colorist, Matt Wilson, won for best colorist. Uh, and the Vision hardcover won for like best graphic album reprinted. Jay Bowen, one of our designers, designed it. Jen Grunwald edited it. And wow. um, <clears throat> and then one I'm super proud of, Chip Zdarsky uh, and Peter Parker, Spectacular Spider-Man number 310. Uh, Chip wrote, drew, colored. Wow. Uh, wow. He would have lettered it, but I wouldn't let him. Uh, <laughs> like, pace yourself, oh my Chip. God. Pace Chip yourself. is an absolute genius. Yeah. And he did such a great job with this book. And it is such a well-earned Eisner. Chip, you're wonderful. Uh, come back and do more Spidey. Yeah. Uh, but right now he's writing Daredevil. Oh, he's nice. doing Spider-Man Life Story. Yeah. Which he, has been amazing. Yep, yeah, Invaders. So uh, he's got some other crazy stuff coming up. Yeah. He is so good. And congrats on your Eisner, buddy. Yeah, so Nick. To pick into your brain, who was your favorite Spider-Man villain? Just to like Ooh. to get to get your little preferences. What's oh, going man. on in your? That brain? is a tough. That's one. hard. Yeah, that's a really really tough one. I mean, I, I'm a Green Goblin nut. I, okay. I think Norman Osborn is so scary. Yeah. But I think I, I might uh, Doc Ock might have edged it out Doc with Ock, the last nice. eight, like eight or nine years of it because. Uh, both, I mean, is it the arms? Yeah. It's the arms. Well, well the arms are classic, <laughs> but it's the story. It's the story. It is yeah. the story. I mean, when you go back to the Uber Spider Man story, other than his origin, yeah. in ASM uh, 32, 33, 34, I think it is, but it's Doc Ock as the master planner, and, yeah. and, it, and he orchestrates it. So Spider Man is buried under a giant pile of metal rubble. Oh, and, man. And, it's, and he almost gives up. Yeah. And he thinks of Aunt May and his family, and oh, he lifts me and lift him away. Yeah. And it's the Uber. Yeah. And then, so there's that. But then there was the lead up to Amazing Spider-Man 700 where he yeah. swapped bodies with Peter Parker as his body was dying. Wow. He took over became the Superior yes. Spider-Man. Yeah. And then the climax of Superior Spider-Man is one of the most tear-jerking, amazing moments in comic book history. And and then with the stuff, it's just so good. So, so out of those Spider-Mans, which one is your favorite version? Which story? So you're, you're asking, asking these, these are hard hit his children. I, mean, but I got I oh, got to hear this. This is though, hard. Man. This is not I don't mean, hurt Nick. He's got he's got comics. This is what we have. This is what See, the fans want. Nick, we don't have to pick. I mean, of course, <laughs> not Peter pick, Parker. Just like, uh, Peter Parker is the greatest fictional character in all of fiction. No. Uh, and fiction he's yeah. the greatest in character all of, of fiction, all time. Yeah. I mean, in all time. Yeah. And then there's Miles Morales. Uh, and Miles, Miles, I mean, oh, so cool. Yeah. So amazing. But yeah. then there's all these other Spider-Versal characters, yeah. and that's mm -hmm. so cool. And we've got some big surprises coming up with Peter and Mary Jane, because we got J.J. Abrams writing yeah. with his son Henry for Spider-Man in September. J.J. Abrams! Ah. 
So we're going to continue to geek out with you right. here yes. on the couch.